Well, I signed with Yamaha Drums in the uh, early 70s. Um, I had gone to Japan a couple of times, and that's when I was offered the endorsement. I knew about sizes and types of heads, but I, I didn't really know what the difference of the woods were, you know what I mean? I, all I know is I, I liked the way the recording custom tom sounded. They were, they were comfortable to play, they were easy to tune. You know, I, I knew that people liked that kit, and I liked it, and I thought they sounded great. But I wasn't aware of, of how how big an impact it had, you know. I mean, I was I was just you know doing gigs like everybody else, trying to get the drums to sound good. I just, you know, got the recording customs and, and started playing them, and and and, uh, and it was uh, I never had a problem with any of the engineers. I mean, it was always it was pretty easy to sort of get what you needed, you know. I had some ideas about how they could make the drums different, and and he was open to it. You know, we did a lot of uh, going back and forth. There were, and he was real open to, you know, the, the uh, information, and and uh, was more than happy to go try it right after we did it. It was a great time. So I had just given whatever information that I had through the thing that I put together, and you know, and we applied it to the recording series. And, here we are.